Welcome to the Nimbus Experience Room. In this room, for educational purposes and research, we take a small drop of blood, put it under a microscope so we can see it on this screen here. For example, this is my blood, just taken a few minutes ago. The reason I look at the blood often is I want to see if my red blood cells are stacked or separated like this on the board. The reason that's important, if I want to show you a picture, this is a picture of blood that's stacked or we call rouleau effect. In an extreme case, it'd be erythrocyte aggregation where they're just big balls, big balls. This is an example of uh, what blood is, should look like, red blood cells, fully separated just like the one that I showed you on my screen here. The reason we look at that is because the red blood cell is the gatekeeper for so much in the human body. For example, the red blood cell, looking at this picture, is one that carries all the oxygen molecules. As you breathe in oxygen, go to your lungs, the, red, the blood comes by the alveoli, picks up that oxygen oxy molecule, and then delivers that throughout the body. The second reason we're interested in having blood cells separated is because there's about 100,000 miles of microcapillaries in the human body. Those are the diameter of about one red blood cell. The reason they're small, and I'll use this picture, is so as the red blood cell comes by, it slows down the speed, can remove all the oxygen molecules, pick up CO2 and other waste and help return it so it can be expelled. So the red blood cell is responsible for all gas exchange in the human body. My red blood cells, as I showed you in the picture, are separated thanks to my CM2 band. Are you using a CM2 band?